Hi folks, my name's Tom. You're watching High Rant District. Uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing today of uh, an order I placed back in June of 2021. Uh, finally arrived this week. It's a. Uh, it is the Discord first six records box set. Uh, it's the first six uh, records, all seven inch. Uh, records, 45 RPMs. Uh, they came out on the Discord label uh, back in uh, 80 and 81. 80 and 81. So it's been, uh, you know, something I've been looking forward to. The The records in this box are uh, in uh, original form, in the OG form, are generally unobtainium. They're uh, all but one is I'm guessing around a grand in Probably crappy shape if you can find it. Um, they're expensive records. It's a it's a very revered label for good reason. You know, very DIY punk label. Uh, Ian run by uh, Ian Mackay and uh, Jeff Farrell, I think his name is. Ian sitting down down low, and then Jeff, if you can see that. So it arrives in shrink wrap. Um, <laughs> the day it showed up, I popped on Discogs to see what these were selling for. And uh, people are selling them for like 200 bucks minimum. Or advertising them, I should say, for 200 bucks minimum. And, you know, I, personally, I don't see anything wrong with it. The uh, These were, the, the way these were done, these box sets were uh, offered, is uh, uh, via the Discord website, they were available for a while. Uh... You know, Discord's a you know frugal label. They run things tight, and they put the box set up. It's uh, actually seven records in here. It's the first six records plus a bonus record. Uh, this was advertised for fifty bucks, and they put it up on their website. And it was uh, they just gonna they were selling it for a period of time, and however many got ordered, that's how many they made. There's no artificial scarce scarcity like you see with a lot of the a lot of other records being offered. No, nothing artificial about the scarcity. Anybody could have gotten this. It was available for you know at least weeks, if not a month or more, uh, through the Discord, Discord wide website. It was fifty bucks, I think. Uh, I think with shipping, it ran me around fifty-four. Here it is. So if you're paying two hundred bucks for it, I, I don't have any sympathy for you. Anyway, so it comes shrink wrap. Figured I'd open it up and uh, share my first look with everybody. All right, get rid of the shrink wrap. I don't save shrink wrap. Shrink wrap's like a condom, it gets between me and my pleasure. All right, it's a great quality box set. I mean, it's heavy duty cardboard. You know, the back is really nicely printed and this is very DIY, you know, they, they sent away you know, they had the boxes made, they had the records rate made, I'm pretty sure they assembled everything themselves, Jeff and Ian and whoever else was help, helping them. Uh, and the first thing we see is a booklet here uh, about the first six records. Is it a booklet? No, it's a booklet. Teen Idols and Friends. Notes, words, pictures, blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, the first record that I see here is uh, the Teen Idols. Teen Idols, um, what the hell were they? Yeah, they were born out of a band called the Slinkies that never put out a record. And this is... SST Records number one. It's a black vinyl, I'm pretty sure. Comes with a little fold out poster with lyrics. Uh, their second ever release 
State of Alert, SOA, uh, the No Policy EP. That's what that looks like. Let's see, this is on some sort of colored vinyl. I don't know, green. And let's look at the label. Did it come with something? Did I miss something? Yeah, there's something else in there. A little folded up something or other. Fold it up. Lyric sheet. Uh, let's see. Next up, the Minor Threat EP. Is that number three? It's got to be number three. I think it's their third release. The actual Minor Threat self-titled EP. I think you can get this in crappy shape for a hundred or two. Let's see. Yep. That's number three. Look at the label. Pretty sure it's black. Black vinyl. It's got a folded insert. Lyrics. Alright, number four. Government issue, legless, yeah, legless bolt, the EP. And this would be, yep, fourth release by Discord. Let's look at the issue, at the label. If you haven't figured out, if you're unfamiliar with any of this, this is a punk label and these are punk records. Another uh, insert with words. Uh, the fifth item, Minor Threats uh, In My Eyes, EP. There you go. Ian looking fierce right there. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, they seem to all have inserts. This is on uh, red. I don't know, hot pink. Red vinyl. Discord Records number five. Minor Threat in my eyes EP. And I assume this is another lyric insert. Oh. Pictures and lyrics. And then the sixth, we've got um, Youth Brigades Possible EP. And let's see what we got. This one's kind of stuffed tight. Got the record. Discord records number six on black vinyl. Uh, just, yep, another lyric insert. So this whole box set was about the, the first six records. And uh, I don't recall if they mentioned it when I ordered. But this comes with a seventh record. Uh, looks like... Who Cares? By the Slinkies. The Slinkies uh, never put out a record. I think they only played one show ever. And then the lead singer left for some reason or other. And then the remaining band got a new vocalist and became Teen Idols. So... Uh, I guess they made a recording, or they recorded some. They have recordings of some songs, and now it's on a on a piece of vinyl. Let's see. Some shots of the Slinkies. Captain Crunch on the drums. Uh, blah blah blah. Must be a history of the Slinkies in this uh, fold out insert. And uh, <laughs> it's on black vinyl. Here's the A side. And then uh, Captain Grunch and most of his glory on the B side. And there you go. Discord box set. It's the back side. 
And I, you can see on the box, I don't know if you can tell, like from the light, it says the first six records kind of embossed, not embossed, but you see it on the front when you see the, the light hits it right. Well, it's the first six records. So I'm looking, you know, I'm not uh, huge on reissues. And not to get off on a tangent, I'd, I'd like to see most vinyl reissues come to an end. You know, we've got, uh, you know, what's vinyl made out of? It's petroleum byproduct. Uh, Rush is one of the main uh, suppliers of petroleum in the world, and that's been cut off. So, I mean, the price of records is going to go up again because of that or uh, as an ex using that as an excuse to go up. But we really, in general with reissues, I don't think we need most of them. A lot of reissues are of records that have had a bazillion pressings. And, uh, you know, if you like the record, it's probably, a, for most records, there's a lot of them out there in the marketplace already for you to buy. And reissues to me are just, this is wasteful. Uh, forget about the steam that's used for the process, the water, the heat, the energy, the, the plastic, the petroleum. It's not necessary. But something like this, this I can justify. I can justify a reissue of this where, you know, there were not a lot of these records made to begin with, these first six records. They're fairly well on obtainium when you're talking about a grand or more for, uh, for any of them in, in original form. Then, yes, I, I can see where you, you repress them. And, you know... Discord, independent website. We're not giving our our music to, to Sony, to Warner, to whoever the one, two, or three, you know, big labels that own everything is. We're not contributing to, uh, you know, Republican-owned companies. You know, it's this is a good place to for me to put my money. Uh, so I'm glad to have them. Going to spin them up. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.